<laughs> Guys, this is so good. Oh my gosh, we have such a great story to talk about today. This is good news. This is a huge, massive W for people like you and me, normal people out there, people who want to take our country back from all of the insanity that continues to infect it today. And oh my gosh, this is fantastic stuff. So we've been talking about this Apprentice movie that has been showing at the Cannes Festival that they were hoping would sweep with awards and just win all sorts of acclamations and all of this stuff, get giant distribution deals, and well, it looks like none of that is really happening. So, this Apprentice film has turned out to be a mega flop at Cannes Festival. This is hilarious stuff because this film is a film that is based on Orange Man Bad and is supposed to be a biopic of sorts, sort of, but it's not really because they completely run with a bunch of lies and false stories and fake narratives about Trump. It is ridiculous what they did with this film. The backfire that they are now facing because of this is hilarious, okay? They just got a bunch of terrible news today about this film, and it is amazing. So Trump biopic The Apprentice leaves can empty-handed, no distribution, no prizes. So The Apprentice left the Cannes fil Film Festival empty-handed with no announcement of a U.S. distribution deal following former President Donald Trump's threat of a lawsuit and cease and desist demand against the filmmakers. In addition, the movie failed to win any prizes at Saturday's closing ceremony, despite some movie pundits predicting that actor Sebastian Stan would be rewarded for his portrayal of Orange Man Bad. While a buyer could materialize in the weeks ahead, the road to U.S. distribution looks uncertain as streamers and specialty theatrical labels would have to weigh the possibility of a messy and protracted legal fight. Box office prospects also appear dim as audiences have largely shunned political and other big issue movies in recent years. So this could be a huge loss for distribu distributors and they do not want to face that storm. Basically what you could say, okay, and this is this is hilarious. Hollywood has rejected the Orange Man bad film. This is a giant L, a massive L for the filmmakers who made this film, who very clearly had a very specific uh, narrative and agenda that they were trying to push with this film, and it has all completely blown up in their face, all right? And some of the things that are in this film are just disgusting, completely false, disgusting lies about President 45, soon to be pr President 47, and there is a reason why this movie was supposed to come out this year, but it looks like this movie might not be that big of a hit after all, because pretty much everyone is saying, nah, now nah, we're not going to touch that, all right? So the, the Apprentice garnered an enormous amount of media attention at this year's can, as you can imagine from all these woke critics, particularly for its scene depicting Trump doing terrible, terrible things to his first wife, Ivana. The movie also shows Trump undergoing plastic surgery and liposuction. Uh, Ivana, Trump herself, has denied that her then-husband ever did terrible things to her. And it's hilarious to see this movie that has been hyped up for a couple years now as going to be the big takedown of President 45, soon to be President 47, is completely flopping in every aspect imaginable. This is amazing, amazing stuff. So, with that being said, we're going to continue to monitor this because everything could change in, a, in an instant with this film. So, please subscribe, leave a like, all that stuff so you stay up to date on all the news about the the Apprentice, the Orange Man bad film. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.